Hello classy people, how y'all doing? Wayne Bolden at the Speed King channel. As always, please turn your closed captured on. And of course, you know a big, big weekend is coming up. The Preakness State, the second jewel of the Triple Crown. Can't have a Triple Crown winner because Rich Strike elected not to run. Which don't make me happy. But anyway, it's still going to be a great day on Saturday, as well as Friday, the Black Eye Susan for the girls. We have our tip sheets available for both days, one price of 20 bucks. If you'd like to purchase them, please email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. It's a great way to support us. We have four different uh, payment methods, uh, Cash App, Venmo, Zelle, uh, Zelle, and of course, PayPal. Email me, speedking24 at yahoo.com. I'll get them out by Wednesday or Thursday of this week for sure. Please ring the bell, subscribe, do the things you do. Well, back at Indianapolis, over at the Horseshoe Indianapolis. That's right on Wednesday the 18th. They got four stake races over there. And we got quite a few viewers out in Indiana. Uh, Miss Teresa out there and Terry and uh, one of my friends out there. And my friends out in Gary, Indiana, got quite a few friends out there. And they watch the channel. So thank you folks for the support. And the eighth race on Wednesday is a turf race with three-year-old fillies. Uh, it is the Horseshoe Indianapolis Stakes on the turf. Field of nine, let's run through it. Shouldn't take long. We got an opinion in here. Of course we do. And the number one horse, again, don't know what to do with this click to confirm. Click to confirm has three wins from 12 starts, two seconds and five thirds. Now, if you look first, second and third, click to confirm the number one has finished in the money 10 of his 12 starts, which tells you that this horse really loves to pick them up and lay them down. This is a really, really nice running horse. The problem with click to confirm is the horse has never been on the grass okay and again it's always hard to take horses to do something that they haven't done unless you're getting a very very nice price on them now five to one on click to confirm isn't horrible the bloodline suggests by toneless and on the back end storming fever that this horse should be able to turn the horse is very, very fast out the gate. He does have the rail. It is a flat mile. And I expect Click to confirm to be on the lead. I really do. So maybe I'll make him my third pick in here because he's the speed. But it's hard for me to put him on top as my number one pick, even though my first three picks are always threat to win the race. I think Click to confirm has a bunch of upside and is very speedy and we know speed is king i wouldn't look past him i think i'm going to make the number one horse click to confirm my third pick in here for sure well the number two horse we all know this horse and he creates a problem in the race a little love and luck that's what we all need he's only two to one or she's only two to one on the morning line and again, two wins from eight starts, one second and one third. Dinna is our trainer of record, and Paco came into town to do the service. This horse back there on March 12th down at Tampa comes out of the Florida Oaks grade three stake race. And I tell you right now, behind a Ch Chad Brown's horse, um, I mean, this horse has a very, very nice upside. You know, I don't like the price on a little love and a little luck in this spot. Uh, the horse is bred by Arrogate, uh, by Arrogate on the back end by Point Given. So it doesn't take much to like this horse, does it? Two to one's a little short, but this horse has every, every right to run and win this race for sure. The last time the horse ran was April 24th at Aqueduct on, on the turf, which was some 24 days ago. It was the memory of Silver States. I think we all remember that, and Consumer Spending won that race with Pizza Bianca running second. So again, we all know those are Breeder Cup type horses, and again, a little love and a little luck should not be taken lightly in this spot. Very, very strong. Not quite sure where I'm going to put her on my top three picks just yet. Well, here's what I know what I'm going to do with the number three horse. Bravo Kitten. I'm going to take the number three horse as my top pick in this race too. Bravo Kitten 
The number three has only one win from four starts, two seconds and one third. Has always hit the board uh, by Kitten's Joy on the back end by Dino Foreman. No, you didn't. This horse is bred top and bottom for the grass. You mean to tell me this is horse is by Kitten's Joy and his grand or her granddaddy is Dino Foreman? You think this one wants to turf? You better believe it. I mean, Safi Joseph has a very, very nice filly here. This three-year-old can flat out run, even though she only has one start. Bravo, Kit, and I like this horse. And then they went to get the services of Respoli, who loves to ride on the grass. Beautiful speed figures on the three horse. I'm making this horse my top pick. I don't care what y'all say. I like the number three. Bravo, Kit, going to be my number one pick in this spot for sure. Well, the number four horse I don't particularly like here. Heavenly, heavenly hellos, right? Uh, one win from uh, nine starts by overanalyze. Ray Hernandez is in the arms. Morales is doing the services. And the horse really doesn't turf. Got a turf race way back in yesteryear on the maiden. Got smacked around. 12-1, to the number four, heavenly hello. We can't throw that one out quick enough. And it's the same with the five horse, right? Slick, sneaky, and fast. The number five horse is 15 to one on the morning line, and he would have to be sneaky to get by these horses. He would have to be a lot faster than he's been in the last three or four starts. Bred beautifully by Medagli Dora, one win from three starts, Mr. No, it's not. Is that the Eric Reed that we know? Derby winning trainer Eric Reed, who didn't bring Rich Strike to the Preakness? Yes, that's that, Eric Reed. Well, I'm not real happy with Mr. Reed and that decision. I mean, if it's because the horse is hurt or something or needs some rest, I get it. But anyway, the number five, Mr. Reed, slick, sneaky, and fast. You got away with a sneaky move in the derby. We're throwing the five <whistles> off the ticket. Well, uh, loping. Well, lope, uh, lolloping. Lolloping, <laughs> loping. Lolloping, the number six horse. Well, Lolloping is five to one on the morning line. One win from three starts. It's Brad Cox and all his big head horses. And guess who's in the arms on Lolloping? Well, it's Irad Ortiz. Again, you know, this horse runs on the grass. Check out the bloodline on Lolloping. Warfront. I mean, what are you going to do? Okay, so I mean, again, to me, this horse. Uh, Speed figures aren't up to snuff here. Horse is pretty fast out the gate, to be honest with you. Going to be forwardly placed in this spot. I don't like Brad Cox horse here, uh, lolloping the number six. I'm going to throw the six off the ticket. Brad Cox or no Brad Cox. Ortiz or no Ortiz. The number seven, delightful moment. Well, delightful moment, she's never really done anything wrong either. She's only won one star. One uh, race from five starts, one second and one third. The horse is bred and owned by Godolphin, so you know Brendan Walsh isn't far behind doing the training. Okay, Adam Buskitz is in the orange. This one's quick, fast, and in a hurry, too. Actually, there may be a speed duel setting up here. The number one click to confirm is very fast, as we talked about. And, uh, you know, Lala being the number six, Brad Cox horse want to beat formerly plays. And now the number seven, delightful moment. You know, Brendan Walsh's uh, contingents want to be formerly plays. And Adam Paschitza don't have no problem with pushing hard on him out the gate. So again, you may have a, a chance for a speed duel in this model event for these here girls. So the number seven to me, to me appears to be a little bit overmatched. I don't like the horse. Love the price. Love his Brendan. And Walsh. Love that it's Godolphin, of course, my favorite owners, but I don't like the horse in this particular spot. I think there could be a speed duel here to help burn him up and set him up, maybe for my horse, the number three horse, Bravo Kitten, for sure. Let's throw the number seven delightful moment off the ticket. The number eight horse, Dream Worker. Well, Again, here's a horse that you may want to surely use underneath. Dream Worker has two wins from four starts. That's beautiful. They paid 130000 for this one. Joe Sharp is our trainer. The horse is by American Kingdom. The speed figures are phenomenal on this horse. And you got Deshaun Parker doing the services at 5-1 to one out down there. So, to me, 
this horse has to be on my ticket. Of course, you guys already know that I love the number three Bravo Kitten in here, but I don't know how we get around not using the number eight horse as uh, my second pick here. I like Dream Worker for sure. The horse uh, is going to be sitting in the catbird, maybe behind the one, six, and seven, if the pace shakes out the way that I think. And I think Dream Worker, the number eight, could be sitting in the catbird seat, fourth or fifth, and start to pounce, you know. So Dream Worker, we like a whole bunch here. Joe Sharp is a very, very nice trainer, and I never have a problem with Mr. Deshaun Parker doing the services in the arts. So the number eight horse will be my second pick in this spot. Well, the last horse in the race, louder than words. Well, again, here's one you really, really can't say anything bad about. This filly has won two of four starts in one second. And again, has never been on the grass uh, except once where she broke her maiden uh, back there uh, last year. Maybe this horse is a big turf move-up horse. But the speed figures on the dirt are a little light. The horse made her three-year-old debut last time and went almost gate to wire. It was scheduled for the grass, so you know their intent was to get louder than words to number nine on the grass, but it scratched off and she still won the race. So this is the second race off of a 215-day layoff, returning in nine days. No, you did not just say the number nine is returning in nine days. I'm throwing her out. On that alone, she's way outside in the nine hole in a short run to the first turn. She's back in nine days. She hasn't been on the grass since our very first race um, way back there last year in August at Indianapolis. I'm going to throw the number nine out. I don't like that nine-day return. I'll, I'll live and die by that. Nine is out. So there is your horseshoe Indianapolis stakes race for three-year-old fillies, eighth race, for sure, right before the Caesars race, race number nine. And my top pick here is going to be the number three horse. I love Bravo Kitten in this spot, for sure. I just think this horse is ready to really do some work here. I got Respoli in the yarns. It's uh, Saffy Joseph doing the training. And my second pick is going to be the Dream Worker with Deshaun Parker down there. And, of course, Joe Sharp, the number eight horse. And my third pick... My third pick is going to be the number one horse, Click to Confirm. This horse is 5-1 to one on the rail, hasn't been on the dirt, but I think this horse might be able to beat both the 6 and the 7 out the gate into that first turn and maybe the speed and could take these a long way. So there it is in your uh, Horseshoe Indianapolis Stakes for three-year-old fillies. My top pick, who I love a bunch, Bravo Kitten, 3-1. to one. I think that's a fair value with a 24% win probability out of my database. And the bottom horse, or next to bottom horse, to number 8 is my second pick, Dream Maker, who I like with a 20% win probability. Beautiful, beautiful speed figure on the number 8 at 5-1. to one. Great value. And again, the one horse inside is the speed. Should save some ground at 5-1. to one. So it's 3-8-1 like that for us. In your horseshoe, Indianapolis, Miss Teresa, my boys out there in Gary, enjoy yourself. Email me. Stay classy, folks. Your Speed King got 381 in the old horseshoe, Indianapolis states for the girls. Love doing it. Talk to you shortly.